What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Bundesliga Player of the Month card to review and it is going to be Nkunku once again. It's the third time now that he has won the Bundesliga Player of the Month and this is the ninth special card in FIFA 22 for him. Ninth. His team of the season is about to be insane. I cannot wait. It's going to probably go for a crazy amount of coins. Well, it'll probably be one of the best cards that we have seen in FIFA history. It's going to be so, so nice all rounded. This card has got 89 pace with 94 dribbling, 86 shooting, 92 passing, 81 defending with 81 physicals as well. If we are comparing him to his 90 player a month card, we are looking at a plus one to pace, a plus one to dribbling, a plus one to shooting, a plus one to passing, a plus two to physicals, and a plus two to the defending as well. He's a five foot 10 player with medium, medium work rates, four star skill moves, and a three star weak foot. Now the chem style, anchor. There's so many different chem styles that you can use on this card. There really isn't like a, a right or wrong answer, let's say. Like, it all depends on how you want to use him. For me personally, I'm going to try to use him as more like a box-to-box -box center mid. So that's why I've gone for the anchor chem style. But if you don't feel like the physicals is needed on Nkunku and you like the extra pace, then you could go for the shadow chem style. And if you don't want to use him as like a box-to-box -box center mid at all, and you want to use him as like an attacking center mid, Hawk, Hunter are both amazing on this card. So yeah, there isn't really a wrong answer when it comes down to the chem style for him now the anchor chem style is giving him extra pace which is always going to be nice in that midfield having 96 acceleration and 93 sprint speed is just going to be simply unreal the shooting stats i mean look at it for a midfielder it is disgusting 91 attacking positioning with 86 finishing 92 shot power 88 long shots with 75 penalties as well with both shooting traits finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait and you have to keep in mind having an outside foot shot trait for, on a player that's got a three star weak foot is very very nice to work with now the passing stats 92 vision 94 short passing 91 long passing yeah the passing looks incredible on this card i know some people may question it when it comes down to the three star weak foot but a three star weak foot with those kind of passing stats is perfectly perfectly fine now the dribbling stats i mean <laughs> They look incredible. He's 90 overall card. Felt amazing on the ball. So I'm expecting this card to feel really good on the ball as well. Now the defending stats. They gave him a nice upgrade when it comes to the defending. Interceptions plus two. Defensive awareness plus two. Standing tackling plus three. And a slide tackling plus two. So yeah, they did really well when it comes down to the defending. That's something I feel like we are probably going to notice. Maybe he's going to go in stronger for certain, uh, for certain tackles or certain situations, let's say. And maybe he's going to go for a few more possession-based tackles. But yeah, defending looks incredible with the anger chem style. And moving on to the physicals, 84 jumping, 92 stamina, 89 strength with uh, 79 aggression as well. I know some people will probably uh, go for the shadow chem style just to give him that pretty much maxed out pace but i feel like the anchor chem style is going to be very good for him simply because of that strength boost like i understand he's got that lean body type so he's not going to get into that shoulder to shoulder situation very often but you know once he gets into it he's got that 89 strength to work with and most likely he will win that 50 50 now when it comes down to uh links french Bundesliga, I don't think I need to say anything else. You guys can clearly see I haven't even got Bundesliga players around him. I've just got Awa and Mbappe to get him on full chemistry. So yeah, the French nationality is so, so OP, let's say, in this game. There's so many good players that you can link uh, link up with Nkunku. Now, when it comes down to positions, two positions today, center mid and CDM position in a 4 one 2 2 narrow and a 4 4 2 So let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. A nice dummy. I see Nkunku making that run. That's a good pass. Go on, please. No, it was a good shot. There's no question about that. But there's CS with a very, very nice save. But you see that movement going forward. He sees where that open space is and he goes for it instantly. Going to pass backwards. I reckon he is. We transition though really well to what's called for that interception. And he just reaches out to it really well there. This guy wants that pass through the middle really badly. And I have gave it to him slightly there. We're going to keep close though. And Nkunku is going to put in a very good tackle. Keep it going. Nice ball roll. I'm just going to keep going. Just use that pace. Just use that pace. Ball roll. No, if we could get the ball roll there, I could have just accelerated down. I'm going to push up here. See if we can just hit him on a high press. No turn there. Well played. Ball roll. Nice. Good dribbling. Anyone going to give me a passing option? I see Mbappe in the inside. That's a good pass. And that's that right there is an amazing, amazing finish. Press out there. No pass in the middle. Look at the transition speed. You see how fast he is going left and right? Like, it really doesn't matter which way my opponent turns. We're always, always going to be there. And I'm trying to cover the midfield here. He's tried to rainbow flick us. I mean, it kind of worked, but 
Nkunku just gave him a cheeky headbutt. Neymar, give me an option. There you go. Nice turn. Nkunku's made a run there, but we couldn't find him. Reset the play. That's a good pass, though. Near post. Go on. Unreal finish. Unreal top bins. It was 45th minute, so I had to keep it up. Pass through the middle, maybe. There you go. We pressed up on that. Keep it going. Bull roll. Nice fake shot. He's not really controlling. It looks like he's just second man pressing. So I'm trying to see if I can maybe create myself an angle with the finesse shot. But look how he feels on the ball, man. Like his left stick dribbling is incredible. I did a bit too much of him there and his stamina did go quite low. That's a good turn. No turn here though. There you go. And Kunku straight into the tackle. Keep it going. There you go. And we're going to make a run in behind. He completely took out, I believe it, it was Awa. Awa was going to make a run in behind as well. I need a pass on the edge of the box. Makaleli, you're going to give me one? There you go. Maybe just give this across to Mbappe. Back to Nkunku. We got an angle now to go for that finesse shot. And look how good the finesse shot is. This guy's paused the game. I'm going to guess he's going to quit, right? Maybe not. No, oh, he is. Driven that straight into Nkunku's feet. That's a good touch. Look at the turns again. I think it hasn't switched my formation and he's still playing in that striker position and we do well to create an angle there to go for the finesse shot but unfortunately it's not gonna go in driven that into his feet because he's made an amazing run there keep it calm go for the lack of keta go on no how did rudiger get there i mean it's rudiger honorable mentions card so i guess that says it all right but come on how has he got from how has he put in a tackle from the back I'm going to go for a team press. Hopefully, we can get this ball. There you go, Makaleli. Over to Nkunku. Nice dummy. Flick it into the space. We'll roll early. And we're going to go for it. He's left us wide open. So, we 100% need to go for it. You cannot leave Nkunku like that. Wide open. Especially saying that he's got the finesse shot trait as well. With 88 long shots. Yeah, it's going to fly in. We'll roll that. And just switch the play over to Gelson Martins. Look how good that pass is. It should be perfect, right? Yeah, there you go. It was a good pass on to Gelson. It's just the second touch of Martins kind of let me down. Get onto that. He's going to want to turn. There you go, man. Great transition to uh, go on the other side of the foe. We end up losing the ball, though. But look at Nkunku. You see how fast he is in that midfield? One time he's next to the foe. The other time he's cutting a passing lane. Neymar, keep that on. There you go. Look at that movement going forward by him. Ball roll. Keep it calm. He's on the floor. Let's go for a pass all the way at the top with that freestyle weak foot. He's brought a keep. You know what? Can we chip this? I should have just kept it, it kept it simple. He definitely baited me there. There's a massive gap through that middle. Yeah, I knew he was going to try to pass to it. Is he going to go down now? He is going to go down. I should have read that a little bit earlier, though. That's all on me. Get onto him here, though. Nice. Good tackle. Keep it simple. I'm just going to pass over to Chiellini. I don't want to lose that ball in that midfield. Nice pass. Good acceleration touch. Go on. Keep fighting for it. There you go. There's that strength. And there's that 50-50 that I wanted to win. And that's a good pass for that freestyle weak foot as well. Look at him on edge of the box. No. I was about to pass him on the edge of the box as well. Am I going for a sly tackle there? I should have probably because I feel like we could have got that ball. But Nkunku was trying to track Lucas Paqueta the whole way. I was controlling him a little bit there, but I unselected him and he was still chasing him. Extra pass over there. Good acceleration past him. Nice ball roll. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Can I get around him? Look at the pace. And this is with the anchor chem style. This is not even with a shadow or even a hunter chem style. Go on. Keep it going. Nice dribbling. Go on. Green timed. Please. No. There's no way we hit the post. Ow, are you going to give me a passing option? You are. And Kungu's making a run there. That's such a good touch. Roulette. Shot cancel. Go on. Go on. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful feet. He, he like took... Two or three touches round the keeper there, which was something I didn't really expect and something that I didn't personally do. I just went for that shot cancel, took the extra touch and went for the finish. But he took like two or three touches in between. Am I going for a slide tackle here? He's running with Kent, so it's like the perfect time to maybe go in for one. Is he going to continue running? He is. There was no need to go in for a slide tackle. We were just reading him there. We shielded, I was about to say, we shielded off Kent pretty well there and he just completely fouled me. Get yeah, that Ramos, nice, good step. Through the middle, no way. Look at the press this guy's got on me, man. But Nkunku puts in a good tackle there. Unfortunately, it doesn't bounce to us, though. But look at this. Once again, we're on it. We're on it. There you go. Mbappe, make a run in behind. We'll roll around you. <laughs> His footwork is so good in that midfield, man. The fact that you can just go forward and you can, you can do what I just did is honestly amazing. And this guy gave up. You can clearly tell by the minute. Yeah, he's had enough. 
So it is time to review and we ended up playing three games with Nkunku. We scored four goals in those three games and we also came out with two assists as well. You guys saw today how good he is as a box-to-box -box centre mid. Defensively with that transition speed getting out the players really quickly as well. It's really nice to work with on defence and going forward with his dribbling ability, that passing ability, that shooting ability and that pace as well. Yeah, going forward he is really, really solid. One thing I will say is the pace, the shooting, the passing and dribbling all feels the exact same as his 90 player of the month card. There's no question about that, but his defensive ability, now that is something I noticed. The interceptions, he was sticking out his leg way, way more often and him going into tackles, it felt like he was going in way stronger and he was putting in a better tackle and he was coming out with a ball way, way more often than I noticed with that 90 overall card. So yeah, defensively, you notice the difference. Going forward though, you definitely, definitely don't. Now this card is going for around 200K. 200K? Not bad. They're saying that the 90 overall card is going for 350k. I didn't think that was going to make him cheaper than his 90 overall card, but we will definitely, definitely take it. It makes sense though, because we are getting closer to team of the season. Now, this is what I will say. If you've got the 90 overall card, I don't believe it's worth the upgrade. I'll say that straight up. I do not believe so, because I feel like you're rather off saving those coins for team of season. As I said, just being around the corner, it would be very, very useful saving 200k, you know? So yeah, if you've got the 90 overall card, don't get the 91. But if you haven't got the 90 overall card and you feel like you're not going to be able to afford this guy's team of the season and you do want Nkunku in your team, this is an opportunity that you have to get him straight into your team for a good price. 200k, I do believe it is worth it. One, Another thing I will say is make sure you do the right card. Both cards are available right now. The 90 overall card and the 91. Please do the right card. If you do the wrong card, yeah, that, that's all on you. That's all I have to say. Now, where would he go in the midfielders tier list? We just did the midfielders tier list. He went into the S tier. That, that 90 overall card went into the S tier. So yeah, you best believe the 91 overall card is going to go into the S tier as well. I hope you guys did enjoy the video though. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.